Welcome back, folks, to Space Engineers, episode 10, I believe. And we're going to go, uh, we're going to keep on going right where we left off with the connector point, uh, connector port junction uh, setup that we got going on. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and put this into our build planner, which easy way to do that, I guess, is to come up here and just right click that. Or, yeah just do that and then we'll just come down here and pick up all the items that we need oh, build planner is empty okay I guess I have to do it multiple times okay let's come back down I want to make sure that I'm getting quite a few of these so I'm not okay this should all work Oh, that's so much quicker. Let's see. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, I can definitely see how this is going to make my life a lot easier. Okay, let's try... Um... Just get a bunch of these items. I know I can do it, but it's just... It's a lot easier just to grab a bunch of things at once so I can build a bunch of them at once. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'll we'll get this one right here. That need more motors. Of course we do. We'll just go down the line. So it's all motors. Let's see, what do we do? What can we do here? We got 160 motors. Let's grab those. Yeah, we're working our way on down. I'm just adding motors to all these. Okay, so it looks like we just need interior plates and construction components, which is not bad. All right, how many do we need? We got, da, 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 da. wow, went through almost all of those motors. So let's grab a, a bunch of these and what was it? Construction components and interior plates, I think. Probably interior plates. Our energy is low, so we'll just go up to the medical department right over here. Please and thank you. Great. Okay, coming on down. There we go, there we go, there we go. Almost got it, almost got it. Come on, come on. Nice! Everything is connected! Before I get myself vertigo. Alright. So this is all good. So now I can start taking apart this thing. And then just take the parts. And put them right here. Oh. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and just start taking some stuff apart. 
inventory full? Of course it is. You know what? I have something for this. Let's get... Hmm. You know what? No, because it's going to be all super slow and all that stuff. And I can probably move around quicker than that. And this should all be empty. Oh. Yeah, at least I know where it went. Grab all these. All those. go nice get all that into that system okay you're probably asking me why i'm taking apart the samuel one well because it served its purpose and it was never going to be a uh, a long-term option for us i merely built it specifically or not built it i, I got it and just used it to uh to get us out of the system essentially i want to build a better a better looking ship and then one that functions better or our whatever adventures you know await inventory full Plus, this is just, you know, loading up our inventory, so if I need to take apart anything, I have a bunch of parts I can disassemble. Especially this warp core thing. Lots of stuff in there. Wow, super heavy too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a lot faster doing it this way. But, I didn't, I didn't grab anything. There we go. Let's go, let's go. Get all these components. Whoa, chase it, chase it, chase it. All right, not worth it. Okay, let's get this. I want to focus on this now. Get all these taken apart. Gosh, so much stuff. See, I want these windows because I'm going to reuse these windows uh, for the for the base. Because I want it all to be windows around the sides, which is why, if you haven't noticed, I haven't filled them in with blocks. Ah. So let's actually, let's get started on that, actually. And I believe it's, let's see, it's windows, right? Window, windows. And I like windows flat. And what do I need? I need bolt proof bulletproof glass and girders which i'm pretty sure i have a good a number yes i do and let's get some a lot of girders okay let's get these bad boys set up Ooh. so can't you i'm not going to use the one by ones I need the one by twos. 
Where did I? Okay, one by two flat. That's the ones I need. Okay, so that's what, number five? Bring it up, bring it up. Okay, I want to make sure that it's the right ones. Okay, yep, those are the right ones. So I'm just going to put these across here. Get this going. All right, all right. There we go. Nice, nice. Awesome. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to probably put some blocks up over here, though. Not as... Not like the entire thing, but you know, a good portion of them because they may not need a line of sight, especially here, like the the stairs. Okay, I need steel plates, and we also need power. Okay, we've got our power going. Uh, need to get some ice in there at some point. But that'll be alright. Okay, let's continue on with the windows. I gotta think about a door going in here. I may do something along the lines of having the entrance inside I know that sounds weird but uh, actually like accessing it through like the garage or something uh, along that number okay let's get this situated oh I need more girders wow definitely uses quite a bit of those right along uh, I'm out of glass okay and I need some plates to finish up those walls that's a work in progress right okay you know what I'm gonna take these off see put it like this there we go how's this look nice I like how open this is like so many so much room for activities you can do kung fu down here Let's see, we got nice windows. We can check out our defenses over there. We need to get some lights up in here. Uh, speaking of which, let's kind of do the same thing we got going over here. So we got room for four windows over there. So let's do one, two. Yep, one, two, one, two. Skip four. One, two, three, four. It's on the fifth one. I'll go over three blocks. Just for aesthetic reasons, we'll skip another two and we'll go right there. Uh, or actually, I think that's three. Yeah, that's three. So it should be one, two, three. And that should be two windows. And this should be one, two, three. One, two, three. Which means one, two, three. Just want to make sure this is lining up. Yep, yep. Okay, so this is the one that needs to be a fellow window. Okay. That's doable. Alright, let's go get some more windows made. Uh, get my handy dandy. If we get this window just placed 
We'll do one right there. The bill planner. Right, we'll drop all this off. Okay. And then we'll get that into production. We'll give it a minute or two. So let's just make this even on this side. Yeah, why not? I like that. That's going to look cool. And we'll just do steel plates in the center. Are we in production? We are in production. Uh oh, uh oh, water, I need water. Oh, I have water. Ah, crap. I gotta go, uh, I gotta go sit in my car, in my, uh, in the beast real quick. Okay, so I got oxygen going. I'm gonna open my helmet. Let's take our, uh, mandatory break real quick get some food in us yeah see how slow the food goes up it is agonizing so slow okay that's good for the moment I should have the uh, the system up and running soon to uh, have it so that way we uh, can prepare food. Okay, let's go. Get these filled in real quick. There we go. In, 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 in. Ah, uh, we still need more girders. How about, can we just put the glass in? Okay. Well, we're gonna need more, obviously. How we looking? Okay, we got the 51 there. Got more girders. Production. Give me a bunch more of these. They please. Only because I know I'm going to be going through them like crazy. Okay, so we'll get this one. There we go get these and this these ones these ones these ones and these ones very nice we got all the windows okay ah oh, we just need a few more steel plates Are you kidding me dang it that's fine I think I have steel plates in here I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. So we're going to make this airtight and livable and all that good stuff. Okay, so we got to get this one over here. I think we are set. And in here at least. Okay. So now I'm going to take out these blocks right there and I'm going to make I'm going to essentially make like an airlock kind of thing I 
need to make another one here. The reason for this is because this, if anything happens between this floor... Wait a second. Huh! I, I missed these. It's funny I didn't see that. I didn't catch up the first time. So as I was saying, if anything happens to like this floor and this floor or one of the other at least one of these will hold oxygen and the other one will be uh, sealed so that way no oxygen escapes between them at least that's the that that's the plan call it a uh, a safeguard yeah. and then we will bring this up Catch all these edges. Oh man, I can't believe I'm already out. Let's get some more going. Is that all of them? Oh crud. All right, got any on this side I missed? Got this one right here, okay. So let's look at doors now. Door. Oh, of course I spelled door with one R or one O. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna just go ahead and put the door into the build planner. Get rid of that. I'm actually gonna put two in there. So let's get the first door right there. And we'll get the second door right there. So yeah, there'll be uh, one's closed, one's not. Cool. Now we got to do is Uh, I'm thinking I should have access to now that I'm thinking about it I want to be able to do this let's do small cargo container right there Okay, so go to the build planner. We'll get that set up. And the reason why is I want to be able to access items that I may need from inside of there, or if I need to order production while maining inside, I can. Now I'll show you an example of why I want to do this. So once I get that set up. I can now come in here and be like, I want to build a vent. I need an air vent and I can just okay. put into production. I need 30 steel plates, 20 construction, 10 motors. I don't have that. Let's see. Okay. Put all the all the stuff in there. Now maybe I can Maybe I need to do production. Energy low. Let's get some motors going. Computers, displays, those, construction components, steel plates, all that good stuff.
Huh. That's odd. It's not letting me uh, draw from there. I'm gonna have to figure out why that is happening. Because it should. Hmm. Maybe it's not it's not connected or there's something. Yeah, let's go figure that out real quick. Because that's going to drive me nuts. If I can drop from this connection port right here. Then I know it's something up at that connection. Yep. Okay, so this must not. Oh, it's not connected all the way. I think that solves our issue. Go. Let me see. Ah, okay. That works now. Cool. Okay, so we got that going in there. I probably need some serious ice to fill up this particular area. So I'm actually thinking, what if I do something like this? Break this off and make this into two rooms. So this would be the medical kind of research room and then this will be the, uh, the grow room essentially. Hey, look at now I got now I got oxygen, hydrogen, medical, all that good stuff. That's perfect. Let me see. Do I got enough here for this? Uh, this is my sleep work. Uh, very slowly. All right, so I'll just come in here and we'll get the extra plates. Get all this built up. There we go. I want to just get another door in here somewhere. Boom, boom, boom. All components. There we go. Very nice. Okay, I just got a good, maybe in the next episode or something, I will make a, uh, oh, I think we still have the, oh no, we lost the Cerberus. That's right. We lost it. So we need to make a new mining ship, uh, to go and, well, get us some more supplies. In this case, ice. I, I need, I need a lot of ice just to supply my, my oxygen. But let's look at the food real quick before I end the episode. Let's look at what we can do. Eat, drink, sleep. Okay, so we got that one. We need consumables. Uh, we need the, I believe it's like the garden. Where is it? Small cockpit? Nope, 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 nope. There's just some, oh, here it is. Here it is. It's farming. Duh. Okay, mushroom farm. Let's grab that. Wheat farm, okay. Soya, not sure what soya is. The herb grower, all right. Vegetable grower, apple farm, composter, and custom kitchen. Okay, so we'll do the composter and all that stuff in a separate area. But for the most part, let's, does any of this need to be? So I just put a couple of these down, I guess. And then what's number five? This is the vegetable grower. Does this need to have a conveyor connection? 
Oh, it does. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay, so if this goes in, it's upside down. So if I go like that, it's got to have that. Well, shoot. And something tells me these trees are going to be the exact same. Yep. Okay. So we got to double... We gotta rethink how I'm gonna do this then. Maybe I replace all of this floor or part of the floor with conveyors. Okay, I think that's gonna be a next episode kind of thing. So let's go ahead and just start. Wait, no, don't need that. What you can do. Boom, boom. Let's get conveyors going. There we go. And then we'll just bring it across over here. Oh, I need interior plates. Of course I do. Brats. Let's drop all that off, or at least some, not all. Okay, I need interior plates. Can we, yep, that should be more than enough. Okay, so more con conveyor junctions going here. Okay, and then we can probably safely just take these out as well. Because, I mean, this entire thing is pretty much going to be all a grid pattern of conveyors. We'll just have to walk over the middle one there. And that means these over here are going to be some. Now, like I said, not all of these are going to be used, but they're all going to be connected. Like that. And... Yeah, I mean, that should be enough for the moment. So I'll get these all... I'll get all these bad boys welded up. All right. Well, I think that's going to end it for here for today. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode. I'll catch you on the flip side. Check you later.